to science, or at least more science, with the Imagination Station. Right now, I'm joined by Jeff Stevenson, and we're going to cloak us in invisibility. Can we do this? Well, uh, if we're going to be doing anything with invisibility, we first have to learn something about light. Okay. All right. That's, Let's that's, do that. It's the first step to learning about visibility and then learning about invisibility. Invisibility. So um, a, really, a really classic uh, experiment that you can do at home is to take a pencil and put it in a glass of water. And if you kind of get down on the level of the water, you can see... Eye level? That. What's happening to our pencil there, Chris? Uh, it appears to change size and almost even shape a little bit. Yeah, it, it, looks, it looks a little bent, right? Yeah. And, and that's because the light is being refracted. So which refracted light just means bent light. Mm -hmm. So as light travels from air to water, it actually bends a little bit. And it's different for different materials. So if you want to take a pencil and go ahead and put it in, uh, this is a container of canola oil, you'll actually notice that it bends a little more. And that's because that their um, light travels through canola oil at a little bit of a different speed than it does through water. So you can try this out at home. You can do lots of different materials to see what materials uh, light travels through different speeds in. You probably heard that uh, light always travels at the same speed, but that's actually only true for certain materials. So light travels, travels at the same speed in a vacuum as it does in water. It's different than canola oil. So um, if we want to make something invisible, uh, what, what we can do is a lot of people will say, oh, I have a clear rod, clear water, it would be invisible, right? But as you can clearly see, you can still see the rod, right? You can see it in the water, you can see it out of the water. So why don't you go ahead and take a clear rod okay. and put it into our canola oil and let's see what happens. And do it kind of slowly. You can see that it actually looks like it, you can't really see it anymore once it enters that canola oil. Uh, we have pulled a disappearing act. Yeah, you pulled a little disappearing act. And what's actually going on here is that light travels at the same speed in that glass as it does in that canola oil. So there's no refracted light. And as you know, glass doesn't reflect light. So refract, no refracted light, no reflected light, disappears. So what's really cool is uh, I set up a little kind of a layering here where oil floats on top of water because it's less dense. So you'll, it see does. It, you'll see it disappear at the top, reappear at the bottom. So you can see it in air, very you can see it cool. in water, but you can't see it in the canola oil. Very, very cool science Visible, here. invisible, visible. Yeah. Very cool stuff, right? So um, I've got kind of an even larger beaker over here, right? Okay. And as you can see, I've got this thing filled with canola oil, and there's actually a test tube floating inside of here. Now, I should warn you that we're using a lot of uh, Pyrex mm -hmm. glass here, and this only works with Pyrex glass. So if you're going to do this at home, you really want to grab um, one of these Pyrex bowls. Okay. And it'll usually say Pyrex on the bottom. Right. And this got a few of those laying around home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this glass works with Wesson canola oil. It's very, very specific kind of at-home stuff you have to have. So okay. um, we have this test tube floating in here, and I want to kind of show you how I did this. I actually, if I put a test tube inside of the canola oil, you can still see it. Right. But that's because there's air inside of that test tube. Right. Which isn't matching the canola oil or the Pyrex. So. Because a different density, so light's going to travel at a different speed. Yes. Got it. So why don't you go ahead and take this and fill up my test tube okay. um, with this, and we'll actually watch it disappear right on camera. Okay. And you can see it just fills on up and then we're matching the index of refraction and the test tube looks like it disappears. That's good. You can see that where the air is, you can still see it. But where it's filled with canola oil, it's absolutely gone. Isn't that so cool? You have pulled an amazing trick and actually very impressed with this one. Yeah, yeah. And I dropped it all the way in and it looks like it's gone, right? Now, here's the thing. Well, while we're still looking at this beaker here, I, it's actually such a powerful illusion that the entire time we were doing this, I actually had a whole nother, let me see if I can't do this, ah. beaker inside of here without you even realizing. As you can see, this is a little bit messy. So if you're doing this at home, you wanna make sure you get mom and dad's permission, uh, get some rags. Kids like messy though. They like science where they can get their hands kind of dirty and involved in the science. That's what you guys do. Of course, at the Imagination Station, what's new with you guys? Oh, well, we have our um, egg stream science uh, happening actually right now. So it's a bunch of egg sighting egg experiments and uh, we're having kind of a really good time testing uh, the strengths of eggs, how eggs work with uh, different chemistry. Um, we even have the Toledo Zoo coming in and they're bringing in egg laying animals. And it's, it's just a really good time. It's happening through the 19th. Like the sound of that? You are definitely all slicked up. I know, after I'm, this com experiment. I'm completely messy. I know, I know. It's kind of unfortunate. That's what's okay. fun about it, though. Yep. All yep. right, Jeff, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Up next, what is hot on the web for a Thursday? We will find out with dot com producer Trevor Alt. Stay with us. W211, your day continues.